Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to make a video about how to use any control on your Switch because I'm not gonna pay $60 for a <laughs> Switch Pro controller and uh, Switch Lite to like $90, like I will not pay for that. Uh, so if you hacked your Switch already and you wanna find out a quick way to play with your PlayStation controller or the Xbox controller, this is the video for you. Uh, I have two programs and each does a different thing, but they're both uh, makes you able to use your controller um, effortlessly with your Switch. Uh, the first one is Syscon. Syscon is basically your uh, wired controller. So if you have a PS4 controller, you can attach wired to it and just plug it in there. That should work or uh, Xbox controller, just put in a USB plug and you're good to go. Uh, and Mission Control is the wireless one. It usually it uses the Switch uh, USB capable and uh, well Bluetooth capabilities to find your controller and just add it to it as if it were like a Switch Pro controller. And it's really easy to set up. All you have to do is just uh, it the side tells you where to uh, what control it supports and it's basically all of which is very very good for everybody but um yeah it basically has almost every controller you could possibly get even the weird cheap ones it takes those too so yeah we're good um it doesn't take all xbox controllers or or the xbox 360 and the ps3 controllers those do not work on that it, it uses um uh it uses bluetooth and those use a special kind of bluetooth that was not um available and syscon it just uses uh oh wow no, i'm looking at it now and it uses it does use the xbox this is your control so if you have one of those you can just plug it in physically to your switch and you'd be good to go so having both of them basically makes you a god when it comes to using any controller so if you have if you have friends over and you want to just uh, uh, attach anything to it then you're good to go uh and it's a pretty easy setup actually you just go to the release page and just get the latest one um and i'm gonna show you what's in them uh say so it's just uh the atmosphere folder is basically the thing that runs in background to make sure that the thing is running and the config is basically you can go in here and you can configure it all the um settings to your liking or well, like I know you can change rumble or something like that in the uh, Xbox 360 or PS, PS4 um, I have it opened up on my uh, switch now to show you how it actually looks like and yeah go to config and you should have syscon right there and mission control should be right there as well um, it's basically just like something that runs in background you can uh uh, edit but after that all you have to do is basically uh, restart your switch and you should be good to go um it really is not that big of an issue it's not that big of a setup as long as you have a like a working controller as long as you have a capable controller all you have to do is just get the uh, get the homebrews and they should work fine and they don't show up on the and they don't show up on the um, on your homebrew tab because it's not a homebrew. I think it's like a system type of thing where it just runs in the background. So you don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is update it and you're good to go. But yeah, uh, you only need to uh, download, copy these two to your main uh, search folder, which is right here. Yeah, just copy it. Yeah, if you have it, everything configured. Uh, as I do now, where your atmosphere folder, you can see that in the config folder, and you just have to do is grab and drag. I would do it myself, but I've already done this, and I don't want to fuck up my switch. So, drag and drop, and you're in restart your switch, and just plug in, and um, and you should know how to use how to set up your USB to uh, I used how to set up your controller to go to bluetooth mode if you're on the xbox you have to press a little button at the top where the charging a 
port is at. You just press that and hold it until the light turns green. That's how it, that's how you know it's looking for a connection. And if you're on if you have a PlayStation controller, all you have to do is hold a PS button and share and just wait till it starts blinking a light blue. Not the heavy blue, but the light blue, and that's it. Uh, yeah. And those controllers, that's the only one you probably need. If you have some kind of weird controller, I'm pretty sure you could just plug it in there. Or you could like look it up on how to like set it off for Bluetooth. But uh the, those are the two that I have and they've worked fine for me. Um right now I'm actually using my uh my PS4 controller. I have like three of those and I use uh, one for a uh, switch and it works fine for me. And yeah. It's easy and I like the rumble feature that it has and you can even use gyroscope on yeah on the DS4. A PlayStation Pro controller you can actually use a gyroscope. So if you're playing Breath of the Wild, uh, the shrines, I know you can just like use a controller like it's a regular um, Switch Pro controller and yeah that's convenient for everybody. It's not that hard and you can't really fuck this up that bad. But if you do, I pretty sure it's just going in and keep a copy of everything you have and kind of delete all the folders that you copied. And that's pretty much it. Just go and find the numbers you copied and then you just delete those. And that will be it. Like you don't really have to do much. So if you, uh, if your switch just uh, starts acting up, all you have to do is go back in there, um, delete the folders and then go back out and just kind of restart and you should be back to normal so it's not like it's gonna hurt you in any way and yeah it shouldn't be that uh, difficult but yeah it's called mission controller I would link it in the description but I don't I those things get updated like every 30 days or every uh, thing um, so you, I'm pretty sure you can look it up and you can find it yourself but it's called mission control for the uh, Bluetooth mode and syscon for the um, wired controllers and they it does support uh <laughs> it does support uh 360 controllers which was unbeknownst to me so um yeah that's pretty good anyway um thank you for watching and i'm pretty sure i made this really quick because i really wanted to throw it out there because uh i i pretty sure i'm pretty sure everybody knows this by now but i just wanted to let you know so thank you for watching